Question for our audience. Is the PCP in crowdfunding jail? I'm joined with best guy ever. Hello, everyone. To discuss whether or not the PCP is in crowdfunding jail. I, I'm i very curious as to what our audience is going to have to say about this, but Same. we're basically going to be presenting a case um, based on an argument you and I were having all morning. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. <laughs> and I really, yeah, I, honestly, what it comes down to is what the people out there think. So we could argue all day, but this is a much better idea to put it out there and uh, let the people yeah. judge. So for starters, what is your concern about the idea that we might be in crowdfunding jail? Okay. Now, not to shit on anybody in particular, but uh, so so here's the basic uh, concern that some of us have here. And it's that, so since the plebe and the weeb was, you know, it was a Digi and Jesse project, of course, obviously, from the start. Uh, but as time went along, the rest of us got involved with it to, to the degree of we were basically, uh, we, we were part of the Kickstarter, you know, there were reward tiers added to to get us flown out and we each you know took the amount of money proportional to what it cost for us to attend uh we didn't make any money on top of that and produced content regardless but we were there and we were involved and most of us were on episodes of the plebe and the weeb and maybe people don't even know that i'm not really sure but we we were involved on that front and eventually when the episodes come out the people will see that we were involved and the concern that we have is that, so considering the fact that it's no secret that the plebe and the weeb is taking quite a while to be released, and yes. uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's been nine months. Beyond what was anticipated by people. <laughs> yes. Like, it, it, would, it would be fine if it just took a long time to come out if that was what had been established from the beginning. Of course. Of but course. Uh, the sort of projected schedule was that it would take some six months or so to release the first season, mm -hmm. and it's taken some nine months or so to release one episode. That's right. So. That's right. And from what we hear, the next one's around the corner, not too far, but, yeah. you know. We, uh, we're not really sure. We're not really sure. And so the concern that I and my PCP brothers have is we've been thinking about future possible Kickstarter projects. You know, uh, we've got a couple things kicking around. Redcon <coughs> 3. Redcon Red 3. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we've got we've got a couple of ideas for things we want to do for that and, and other stuff. And, um, you know, we, we were just mulling around the idea. And then we thought, like, okay, what if we made a Kickstarter? And then, you know, it occurred to us that, oh, you know, now that we think about it, the last sort of PCP related Kickstarter has not really delivered what, you know, it, it's not done. It's, you know, it hasn't been finished yet. And yeah. so based on that, we were like, mm, is it really, do people really want to hear that the PCP boys are doing another Kickstarter type thing or an Indiegogo or whatever the fuck um, before that's done? And so, right. and you and I had a disagreement, and there, there's a couple factors at play as to, you know, if that's true, where the responsibility is, it, what, what, you know, right. different individuals, members owe to the audience and what we can expect people to say. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? Well, I, I think the way to explore this is, first of all, is the Plebe and the Weeb Kickstarter a failed Kickstarter? Okay. Um, if so, to what extent? And how to, to what extent is that true for the PCP, and how much responsibility does the PCP even have? Right, right. So the first thing is that if, if you look at it from the lens of the PCP's involvement mm -hmm. in the Plebe and the Weeb, I actually think it comes out, like, startlingly great. Because the mm -hmm. Plebe and the Weeb was a Kickstarter, like, the, the idea of the Kickstarter was ten, 10 episodes season one, 10 episodes season two of this show. Mm -hmm. That is, me and Jesse do a talk show about anime. And uh, and it's a jokey, funny thing. Jesse edits it and and posts it. And, like, the, the real humor of it is basically Jesse's editing. Like, right. the actual content of the show it's it's just like a pretty shitty review of a show <laughs> um, made funny <laughs> in post editing um but we wanted to have a radcon 2 radcon mm -hmm. 1 was just where all of us flew out to my house and we made a bunch of shit and it just so happened that plebe and the weeb was one of the things we made cuz it was an idea we'd had for years mm -hmm. um with radcon 2 it was sort of funded by the plebe and the weeb but we did not just use it for that we ended up using Radcon 2 to produce ass loads of content. Very true. That was completely not even related to the Kickstarter, but made possible by the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. So I think from the perspective of what did PCP fans get out of the Plebe and the Weeb, they got a lot 
without even anticipating it. You know, that's true. They got shitload, like hours and hours and hours of let's plays, a lot of which haven't even come out yet. Um, <laughs> le- several big lecture videos that have been some uh, of the yes. most popular content we've ever made. Mm-hmm. You know, we got you wouldn't if not for the plebe and the weave Kickstarter, you don't get the Munchie lecture on Parkour Dude ninety one. You don't get the Kingdom Hearts lecture. Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. get uh, Ben's you know, uh, Sadatu lecture, of course. Uh, that was from the first Radcon. Oh, was it? Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. But 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 from Radcon 2, we get your, yours and Munchie's lectures. Mm-hmm. We get the uh, Ape Escape playthrough. Uh, it was five hours long. Uh, you get uh, the, of blue the Hamboy Winter War, etc. Et Hamboy Winter War. Yeah. The PCP wrestling. Uh, and, and then just all the weird shit like um, J- Jesse is Digi and Hippo <laughs> is yeah, Jesse yeah. and all that shit. Stuff people love. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. You also have all of the background content from from the Kickstarter. If you were a if you were a backer of it, mm-hmm. you got the all the videos of us watching the shows, all the videos. Now, I realize at this point I'm starting to sound like I'm defending the lack of the the Kickstarter, the actual product. No, it's still a bad thing. It's a very bad thing that the product is not out. However, mm-hmm. I'm thinking of this in terms of what it means for the PCP, because the Plebe and the Weeb right. is a me and Jesse project. So are me and Jesse in Kickstarter jail? Definitely. Um, okay. All right. There you have it, is, folks. <laughs> is, is Jesse super in Kickstarter jail? Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, don't throw Jesse under the bus. I uh, Well, okay. I, I know it's his it's responsibility. It's his editing to, project. Yeah, so, true. I mean, uh, I'm... It's my fault, though. The plebe, everything, everything about the plebe and the weeb Kickstarter is my fault because I started it and I managed it. True, and though I would argue that everyone is complicit who who you know shared in its in its warm glow. There's look. There's a lot of reasons that the show hasn't come out yet. Mm-hmm. I would say that the the biggest reason, like sort of at the core of it all, is that I don't think Jesse even knew. Like what I meant. Like I said, let's <laughs> kickstart it, and he said, "Uh, that sounds like a good idea." And then I immediately launched a Kickstarter, right? Which he didn't. He thought I meant like let's do it eventually someday. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I was like, I want to get moving on this because we all wanted Radcon Two to happen sooner than Radcon One. Damn right. So it was basically an excuse to fund Radcon Two as fast as possible without really considering the amount of work that it was going to be to do the Plebe and the Weeb season two, mm-hmm. the fact that all of it was going to end up on him to edit, and then, like, a bunch of disasters happened in his life immediately afterwards. Right. So it right. was, like, a really badly timed thing. And so it's really my fault for putting it on him in the first place. And it also, in spite of having been a successful Kickstarter, there's not that much money in it. Like, That's most of the money true. went to the production, you know? Like, mm-hmm. everybody else, ev- all the PCP members were just flown out. Like, that's all you guys got out of that's it. Right. That's and right. And the rest of the money, anything that wasn't used for the project, like, I'm still holding on to the money that's supposed to be used to ship all these fucking Blu-rays out. Mm-hmm. Um, that's but good. But <laughs> other than that, all the money was for Jesse, for editing. Mm-hmm. So it's I gave it all to him so that he could, um, because he's fucking, his life is in dire straits and he needs the help, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was Mm -hmm. like, here, have all this money to um, help with this move and shit. So, like, you know, there's ultimately not much money in in it for for anybody else. And the way I see it is I produced this project. I came in and I hired, I essentially hired a director, which is Jesse, Mm -hmm. uh, director slash editor, and I hired a bunch of actors, which is the rest of the PCP. Sure. And the responsibility of the project being finished is on me for having orchestrated that. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who picked everybody involved. I'm the one who set up a situation that was not ideal for getting this finished in a timely fashion. Now, the Plebe and the Weeb Kickstarter is not canceled, by the way. If I'm making it sound that way, we're still working on the Plebe and the Weeb. Jesse just seems to be working on it at, at, like, he's given up on it coming out in a timely fashion. He's editing Indeed. it at his pace. Yep. Which leaves the question of how does this affect the rest of the PCP? Does anybody else not get to do a Kickstarter um, or even as a group, like funding a Radcon 3 when the Kickstarter for the last one was pretty clearly a Radcon 2 Kickstarter? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does this look, does this bode poorly for the rest of the PCP? That's the question. Um, I would argue it does. I would argue that it does, and uh, I think it's because I we have a different idea, and so we're just exploring the issue, right? Like it would be in my best yeah. interest to deny this and to go against it, but we're 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 explorers of intellectual content, so here we yeah. are, folks. Um, 
to me, it seems like I, when I, when I think about myself, okay, I would never give money to anyone under any circumstances, but if I was forced right. to, and I was part of a Kickstarter. Um, okay. So, so you raised a couple issues there. One of the things is that despite the fact that the, the Kickstarter, you know, the, the, the actual product at the core of it all, at the center of the Kickstarter was not delivered. Yeah. There's all this other content that came as a result of it. I couldn't agree more. And that's all great and wonderful, but it is not the thing that was delivered, or the, the thing that was promised. And it harkens right. me back to my favorite YouTuber, Anita Sarkeesian, and uh, all the all the grief that she got for, you know, she's gone, she, you know, back from her original Kickstarter or whatever it was. She, you know, developed a, a presence and made tons of content, but a lot of people shat on her because they hate women, uh, but also because right. uh, they, uh, <laughs> they, like she was not delivering specifically the product that was promised and she she right. distinctly got a lot of flack for it you know whether her true fans were the ones doing that or not the the fact remains that that bad press was generated for her based right. on based on that that situation and uh, i can't help but feel that it's a it's a similar sort of situation in, in a case like this and so the yeah. the thing that could vindicate us i think uh, the pcp as a group is indeed the fact and what you one of the, the missions that I feel you are here to do is to separate you and Jesse as the culpable parties responsible right. for getting it done. And the rest of us, well, I mean, we have offered many times to help. And we, right. we, it's not that we're not wanted, but like, that's not what the show is. So we can't, right. we cannot help. Well, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the way, the way I see it is that the purpose of the plebe and the weeb is that it's me and Jesse's show. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a show that I organize and that he edits and sort of makes watchable. Right. And the the only reason everybody else was involved was because we wanted Radcon 2. We wanted everybody to be there. Mm -hmm. And so the only way that made sense, like, the way I saw it was like, all right, we're raising all this money for the Kickstarter. We want this Kickstarter to fund everybody to come to one place. Mm -hmm. So the only way to justifiably fly them is to say, well, they'll be in an episode. So everybody who's there is going to be in an episode because that justifies flying them down here for this event, whose main purpose is to generate as much content as possible. Mm -hmm. Not just to generate the plebe and the weeb, but to create all kinds of shit that we can only do in person because, you know... um, it's just it's content that can't exist over the internet Without or a doubt. would not be as good mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so the way i see it is like the the core product is the me and jesse show everyone else is just kind of incidentally involved as part of something else mm -hmm. as part of and i think a lot of the people who backed the kickstarter just wanted radcon 2 i saw that exp that expressed by a lot of people at the time i agree um i know a lot of people uh, who are satisfied with the stuff that's come out or just don't care because we all put out tons of shit anyways. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. not like the plebe and the weeb is radically better than all the other stuff we put out. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, yeah. like the specific product, yes, it is missing. And that's a shame. But it's not like we've all gone quiet. It's not like Spoonie who of course. promised yeah. he was going to make a movie and then has literally done nothing. Like, I think Spoonie would be in in better condition if he had promised a movie but was still doing his regular content he'd still have a lot of patrons mm -hmm. i agree but, um you know we we're in a situation where post plebe in the weeb uh you know recording is all of us entering our most prolific phases ever you've done me a mafava we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i've been the human content machine the only person who's really slowed down has been jesse because he's not in a good position to make videos right now mm -hmm. you know he's mm -hmm. just and like to me that's kind of like an act of God preventing this Kickstarter from being completed. Like, I don't think it's just Jesse. Like, it's it's just the circumstances surrounding him. Like, you can say, like, on some level, sure, it's like he could have d done more by now. But, like, it's not really just as simple as he hasn't done it. It's also, like, things are, you know, things are not in a... Okay. He's not in a well, place you know, where he can do it easily. Let me you know? let me throw this at you. So we can. I feel like it's appropriate to. We can remove Jesse from the situation, and we can just look yeah. at the fact that you know, nine months, one video. You know, and maybe a, right. a second one soon. Who knows? But based on just those facts on the ground alone, considering that this is a Kickstarter with you know promised rewards, and it's a fairly official thing. Even though you don't have to do your Kickstarter stuff, you can't just blow it off. I think there's no legal repercussions. Yeah. Um, uh, but we're not, it's not about legal, it's about goodwill. Um, but, like, considering that you're in that situation, 
it reminds me of basically what happened to Hussey when he was trying to make Hive Swap, and he basically right. had a situation where, not to compare the two, but like he had like a scummy developer just basically steal his money and you know right. run off with. As I understand, it, I, I I don't know, I don't know the odd gentleman or whatever the names are that well, but that's how I understood it to be. Or in some way, the money was lost due to that bullshit, and I yeah. absolutely put the put the blame there on Hussey specifically, or if not him, whoever was in charge of the project, if it wasn't like specifically him, but I feel like he's the guy, uh, be because of his managerial accountability. And right. it's, it's his responsibility well, that's why, to deliver. That's why you shouldn't put this on the PCP. You should put it on me. Right. I'm the manager. <laughs> I organized uh -huh. everything. I bought everybody's plane tickets, mm -hmm. you know, or gave them the money to buy the plane tickets. I fucking did all the i did everything for this mm -hmm. at a loss mm -hmm. i might add i didn't make any money off the plea of the week kickstarter and in fact i lost a lot of money off of it i'm sure um, <laughs> from driving everybody around and fucking buying food for people and just everything i did involved um mm -hmm. i've only lost money from it but i'm okay with that because i wanted the product and also radcon 2 was like the worst week of my entire life because it was just a stressful nightmare uh, but i but, look back on it so fondly <laughs> but i wasn't yeah, you. I, I wasn't too. in your position yeah. No, I mean I'm 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 happy with all the products that came out of it, you know. Yeah. yeah that's good. It was just a a really trying time, you know. Um <laughs> having uh -huh. 10 insane people in my house and I'm trying to organize a show with a guy who doesn't want to be working on the show at all, you know. That's really um, the that's the issue right there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry, Jesse. I love you. You're my brother. I don't want to shit on you at all. I want to help. Let me help. Let me help make the yeah. show happen. What can I do? Tell me what I could do. I okay. I just don't me, think it. I uh -huh. mean, we've we've talked about having you edit a certain episode yeah. before. Mm -hmm. Like even when we first recorded it, we just haven't gotten to that episode yet. And right. I don't That's know. way like, down the pipe anyway. The thing is that Jesse has extensively planned this. Like he has a whole narrative for the plebe in the weeb season. I think that's why he doesn't want to give it up. Is because I, yeah, like. Yeah. He has, like, a clear vision of what the narrative across it's going to be. And we've even started, like, we started recording season three, or season two, however you want to look at it, yeah. um, with the idea that it takes place after that narrative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it kind of has to happen a certain way, you know, which is why we're not just, why I haven't just wrestled, like, I have all the files if I wanted to just give them to somebody else, I could. But, mm -hmm. like, I want Jesse's product. And so do in I. a way, so do I. I see it as it doesn't entirely matter how long it takes to come out like it's it's a shame if it takes a really long time but like it will come out and i'd rather it come out than have to change it just to rush it out the door and i think a lot of the people who would back it would agree mm -hmm. like they backed this because they wanted the show that jesse edits they don't just want the plebe and the weeb just in name only that, that that's how we get mighty number no. nine you know, like, yeah, Mighty Number no. 9 came out, but it looks nothing like the fucking game that was promised. And that's why everybody's mad about it. Nobody's happy that it's just out, you know. So if the plebe and the weeb came out and it's not the show Jesse wanted to make, people are going to be like, well, why the fuck did I back it if you're not going to give me the show I want? OK, OK. But to play devil's advocate, you know, Hive Swap, for example, went through multiple changes, you know, the whole big fuck up. And, and the product that's delivered now is nothing like the original. And yet people like Hippo are pretty happy with it. They seem to like the product, though I, he wasn't a backer or anything. Um, and it, to a certain extent, like, my opinion isn't really, like, the right one to be, like, voicing on this issue. Like, I'm coming at it from a certain angle of, like, involvement with the project as opposed to, right. uh, but I'm trying to, like, speak for the backers because that's where my concern lies. I want to, you know, my interest is making sure that people feel satisfied with, like, any right. obligations that I personally owe them. And I want to well, and that's, make good on that's that. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. what, what I want, if, if, if there is to be a Kickstarter or something for Radcon 3, mm -hmm. me and Jesse's names should not be on it, and we should not have any managerial duties on it. It should be <laughs> Best Guy Ever's Kickstarter, where he runs the show. Because I think you, you through, if even if it's just guilt, will get it done. Like I have no you, doubt I will get it done. I have no doubt. You will get whatever it is done. Mm -hmm. The Plebe and the Weeb, as a specific show is a me and Jesse show mm -hmm. and it it's just a show that like the nature of it has led to this situation if it was your show it would be done by now because that's the way you work that's true you know um i remember when it was a twinkle in y'all's eye i remember those days yeah. so well it was a dream it was a dream to do plebe and the weeb yes and, and uh and it just was done at the wrong time 
It was just uh, badly planned in terms of timing, um, and then stomped on by an act of God immediately afterwards, where Jesse's house flooded and everything he owned was destroyed. True, you know? true. Like, it, literally while we were filming it. So, mm-hmm. so there's a lot of reasons that it hasn't come out, but that's me and Jesse's project. Best Guy Ever's project? I mean, look at all the stuff that came out of Radcon 2 that did come out. Mm-hmm. Everyone else's projects are out. Hippo made like 30 videos. <laughs> you made the your one of your biggest videos, Kingdom Hearts Lecture. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's um, a real winner. Which you edited to a like a video that if I had made it would have just been posted exactly as is without the enormous list of time codes in the description. So many fucking time codes. God, it was Because I wouldn't have watched it back to do that. <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't blame you. And so, I spent a lot of time meticulously color correcting. So, uh, you yeah. know, I give a shit, everybody. There you go. So I'm just saying that <laughs> the way I see it, mm-hmm. if we tried to, say, kickstart the next Plebe and the Weave mm-hmm. or the next Digi and Jesse show, then yes, it would be a bad idea and everybody would shit on us for it. Mm-hmm. But if we kickstart the best guy ever show um, by the guy who knows what he's doing <laughs> and will make sure it happens. <laughs> right. <laughs> and... and, and it will be. It might be more necessary to do crowdfunding for Radcon Three because we don't even really have a venue. Yeah, that's what comes like, to mind. That that yeah, situation. Yeah, there's no, there's no place. None of us have a big enough house at this point that can host it. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, maybe we'll have to rent a space for Radcon Three. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what mm-hmm. it'll have to be, or we'll have to go somewhere specific. So yeah, that's kind of why it's why it's a question like it might have to be crowdfunded if there's a radcon 3 and but like you know i'm sure we can come up with a project to tie into it that is not or maybe the project is just radcon 3 well see that's which what everyone i was thinking everyone knows can produce content well see cuz all we have to do we can make stuff all we have to do is link them the playlist of radcon 2 content that i put as the as the card in every single pcp episode that comes out so that people yeah. see the real shit that we do for the sake of of, of future radcons cuz i know right. it's going to happen and uh yeah like the i if I wish that we had like somehow included a little bit more. It's all it's all about framing and marketing, really. If I yeah. if I just felt personally that like the the content that was produced from this Kickstarter was a little bit more entwined with just all that shit, and it kind of was. Like I'm reading right here the 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 five thousand uh, dollar Kickstarter limit where Best Guy Ever and Hypocrite are coming to Radcon Two says if we're gonna make this much money, we might as well bring the other guys down too. Yeah, this amount will pay for Hypocrite and Best Guy Ever to fly down once more, and even to guest in at least one episode of the Plebe and the Weeb season one. This will also propagate more wacky rad content from everyone involved. That should be yeah. the main focus, with maybe some like some core project that just like we yeah. gather around and then make shit other than that. That's what yeah, I want. I mean, the the thing about the plebe and the weeb is that, like, the reason I went so hard on like making it this big extravagant project is I thought it would be necessary to do that to fund it. Mm-hmm. Like, I mm-hmm. thought nobody will pay for the plebe and the weeb unless it sounds like really huge and crazy and expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, when the reality is, we hit the initial goal like immediately. Like, you only asked for night. a twelve hundred fucking bucks. That's like nothing. Yeah. Because it wasn't originally going to have everybody involved. It was mm-hmm. going to be just mm-hmm. me and Jesse. But we we said, well, if we add in people as stretch goals, maybe we'll make a lot more and be able to fly everybody down. Again, it's originally me and Jesse project. Nobody else was even involved at the start. That's right. That's um, right. They're all just actors I hired on. So the way I see it, if we just are funding Radcon 3... Maybe people see it differently, but that's why we're doing this on. That's why we're airing this out on the channel because we had this entire mm-hmm. discussion this morning um, at great length, <laughs> in which I concluded I think we could definitely do it. I think that um, you know, as long as everybody understands that it's you know, it's not gonna be in my managerial hands or Jesse's editing hands. It's gonna be. Uh-huh. You know, it's going to be projects that everybody wants to do, that Mm -hmm. everybody knows how to do, and is going to be on time, you know, uh, because the people running it will make sure that's the case. Indeed, we will. Um, And I think if people understand that, they might be reticent to it. I don't even think that many people see the Plebe and the Weeb Kickstarter as a failure, which, again, it's not canceled. It is still in the works. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, the question is, like, if we do another one before it's over, does that look bad for the PCP? And, again, I won't even be involved. Like, if if the PCP, if if 
if a requirement for this Kickstarter is it can't fund Digi's trip, I'll pay for my own trip to Radcon 3. <laughs> like, I'm willing to throw myself completely under the bus for the rest of the PCP to be able to do this because I really don't think it should be any of your responsibility what happened with or what is happening with the Plebe and the Weave. Yeah. I, I, I guess... I just Which incidentally a mm-hmm. lot of current PCP fans probably weren't even around for. Very this true. channel's like twice as big as it was when we did it, and a lot of those <laughs> people are probably just fucking confused what we're talking about. I, I'm sure that's true. Um You know, I just uh I don't I don't want anything okay, the reason why I here's a little psychology of myself. The reason that I'm so meticulous and I, I try to stay on top of everything so much and not like uh, this is a new thing. I never fucking did this in school. I was a complete fuck up. But the reason why I do and like my pursuits now is because I don't want there to be any problems that stop me from doing the things I want to do. And like no. even even the fact like Okay, I'm I'm not saying this at all, but like, what if this got to a situation where it just like it was so it was so bad, something happened, and then like you and and uh, Jesse, your project just got like so fucked up, like people didn't even want us to be involved with you, or like you couldn't be a part of the Radcon thing, like th- that's just my uh-huh. nightmare scenario, and right. it worries me, which is why I want to help if I can. I know I can't in this particular situation. Um, and, and as you've said, I do think you've made a pretty strong case that I hope the, the people will be the judge that, yeah. you know, this, that was, you know, it was your project. It was your project. And the rest of us more than delivered upon the, you know, the requirements, which were zero. We did it all for fun. And, uh, you know, we got a free trip. That's true. Cop to that. Yeah. Uh, but we did it all the shit because we wanted to, and we want to make more and we want to continue to grow and continue to, to work together on stuff. So here's my pitch, everybody. Radcon three, it's coming. One day to your fucking face, you better brace for it. And there might be a Kickstarter thing involved. And I'm telling you, I'm running this shit now. All right, <laughs> this, this this shit is sailing straight, straight into your mom's yes. pussy, the juiciest location there is. And you better get fucking ready for it. So, Nate, and you Nate can trust runs me. a tight ship. Yeah, the PCP has been a tight run ship for ever since you like became ever since you started taking manager fees. Yeah, it's yep. been a tight rerun ship. <laughs> um. And you can get, I mean, you know what content can come out of Radcon 3. There's a lot of shit that we've put out from mm-hmm. the last two, mm-hmm. you know. More um, lectures, people. God, everyone loves the lectures, right? You want the more lectures. I know you want the lectures, you fucking yeah. plebs out there. That's Radcon 3. That's it. And maybe we can, maybe this, if we can raise enough money, maybe we can get a better space for it. And, yeah. a, and like, if it's not tied to something that is basically a me and Jesse project, like, we can market it much better as well. Like, everyone's channels can advertise the fucking thing. Absolutely. Like, because last time it was just me, because I was the only one with the real audience. Now we've got, like, uh, you've got 50K, mm-hmm. you know, like, mm-hmm. we've got, everyone's kind of growing now. So there's more room for us to try to do something a little bit more, um, not ambitious in terms of the videos getting made because <laughs> Plebe and the Weeb was too ambitious of a project just mm-hmm. by sheer size. Like, honestly, it should have been crowdfunding three episodes. I agree. It should have been a crowdfunding <laughs> for three episodes of the Plebe and the Weeb. It should not have been 20 episodes. That was fucking stupid on my part. People, it probably would have made the same fucking amount of money for three episodes. Yeah, That's why yeah. I keep emphasizing that I don't think the backers are, like, that <laughs> broken up about it because already episode one is twice the length of what anybody expected the episodes to be you know i, I did want to say was a shitload I, of bonus background content you know yeah like you that's all like done isn't that like all out it's all completed yeah I, everything's basically everything from radcon 2 is out except for the plebe and the weeb and a few more blue glows mm-hmm, that uh mm-hmm. jesse still has I, actually all the blue glows from radcon might be out as well to me i uh, think that might be the case oh yeah okay well uh, to me it's it's <laughs> it's honestly baffling how chill everybody is that just like the plebe and the weeb is not because fully it wasn't out yet. that much money. Like that's true. The, the, the thing, like it, when you look at it in terms of it's a Kickstarter, like everyone's so afraid of like the ghost of failed Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. But like most of the famous failed Kickstarters were a huge amount of money. And that's the true. thing is that the people who complain about them are usually not so much the backers as people looking at it from the outside and saying, you made that much money and you failed, you mm-hmm. fuck up. But the thing <laughs> is that Kickstarter is investment. And if you're participating, you're an investor. Investors are used to failure. You're basically hoping this thing will work. Maybe you'll get something out of it. Maybe you won't, you know. Mm-hmm. But, like, I think that for the people who backed it, most of them probably paid 15 30 dollars 
and they got a lot of shit out of it, you know? That's for sure. But they haven't, and, and there's still a promise that they will get what they actually paid for, you know? Like, if I came out and said, it's canceled and there's none left, like, this is all we're releasing, I could understand being more angry. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, the show will come out. You know, like, one way or another, it will come out. Okay, last point just on that specific thing. Again, to play devil's advocate there. Do you feel at all a sense that, like, if it takes that long, it's almost like it never came out? You know, like, if it really does take, at this pace, if it takes, like, four years for every episode to come out, like, will people even care? You know? I I don't know if, I don't know how many people will care. Mm -hmm. I think there's lots of shows that have done things that way. Shows that just take forever to come out. You know, yeah. Mr. Plinkett still has an audience, even though he releases one Plinkett every year, but it's always a big deal Everybody when it comes out, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I don't think the Plebe and the Weeb was ever, like, the highest class of content that we make. Um, so I don't know if it'll be missed the way a Mr. Plinkett video would be missed, mm-hmm. you know. Um but, like, for me, I think of everything in the long term anyways. Like, I have video series that people think I've killed and then I bring it back a year later and everyone's excited that it's back. You know, like, mm-hmm. I think people think of this in a very impatient short term way. But, like, part of investment is the long long haul. Like, Kickstarters usually take years to finish. Like, the vast majority of them take two or three uh, well, years. Well, I think the only problem here is just that, you know, you did give a time frame. And that's that's really the issue at hand. I gave a t- the thing is, I gave a time frame mm-hmm. that was absolutely ridiculous <laughs> because I was imagining if I was editing it. Ah, of you know? course, of course. Because I work insanely fast. If the plebe and the weeb had been something I was editing, it might have been, like a fifth as good, but it would have been out in a month. You know, like, all mm-hmm. of it would have been out in a month. I want to Because give, that's how I work. I do want to give Jesse all the credit in the world for the obvious love and dedication he puts into it, which is why yeah. when I think about, you know, the discussion about, like, me editing one of the episodes, like, I don't want to because I know I can't do it as well as Jesse can. Jesse just, he's got the spark. And by Christ, yeah. I want it back. Jesse, make more content, yeah. please. Come back to us. I miss you so much. <laughs> I miss him too, but like he, the, there is an episode that like would make more sense if you edited it. Yeah. Um, but see, I want Jesse, I want, I want to be enveloped by Jesse's, by his panache. Interpretation his fucking, of it. Yes. That's what I want. I don't want my interpretation of that. That'd be fucking that's exactly, bullshit. That's exactly why I don't want to take it from him. Like, uh-huh. I think, I think the project, I think the people funding the project will ultimately happier to be happier to get the product they wanted mm-hmm. as opposed to getting a product fast. You know, I hope so. Like if you can't have like it would be nice if you could have both, but you can't have both because the way to get the product you want is to milk it out of the most talented man in the world Hmm. who needs to be away from the Internet for the next however long he wants to be. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. like that's the nature of of what's going on. So like, yeah, but I don't think that should affect the rest of the PCP. And I think we should be able to Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. I think. If people, I don't think people sh- will have any fear about it getting done if you're the one running it. You know, I agree. Like, like even if they were completely disappointed in the other Kickstarter, you can look at this one and say, "Well, Nate's running it, so well, I see, know we're going to get." Because the, the whole thing would for. start. The whole thing would start with a careful analysis of what is actually a reasonable expectation for what we can actually get done at a ride. Right. It would all be framed around that to begin with, and that's really that's the most important step when it comes to this shit. Um. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there, there's one other point I did want to make in here. And uh, and it's OK. It sounds a little odd, but is it cruel to Jesse to keep him under the yoke of this? Like as a fellow creator, if I had like nine episodes, like 20 episodes or whatever of a show just like hanging above me like a fucking sword of Damocles every day as like this is I have to do this. It 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 seems nightmarish. It seems horrible. I mean, if it if it was that way, we've all offered to take it off his hands. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone's offered that. So if he doesn't want to do it, he can pass it up. But, like, I think he wants to do it because he has a vision of it. And he likes the series. He likes the idea. You know, it's mm-hmm. just, like, again, it's just bad timing. Like, maybe next year, maybe, like, February 2018, something clicks in his head and he finishes the rest of the show in a week. You know, like, I've seen him do that before. I've seen the way this man works. Horseshoe Finale was in production for a fucking year, Mm -hmm. you know? And he disappeared for six months of that year. There was a long period with no new Jesse uploads. Then there was a thousand of them, you know? I'm not saying that's going to happen. Don't don't get your hopes up, but it has happened before. Let's just think for a second about the worst case scenario where Jesse just thinks, eh, fuck it. 
and he leaves, and he never makes. He them, gives me. A, you know? I, I take all the. I take the. I have all the files. You know. Oh, okay. Like okay. So that's the that's the critical mass. Everything's point. everything's in my hand. Like the second the second I get the text from Jesse that says. I fucking hate the plebe and the weeb. I don't want to edit it anymore. I go, mm-hmm. all right, uh, Hippo, Nate, how much do I have to pay you per episode? <laughs> you know, because um, I know if I edit, it's going to be garbage. So um, I'll have to get creative. Yeah, um, it wouldn't <laughs> I would love a Gib edited episode. I know that boy could do some. Yeah, good I things. think Hippo could do it well. Mm-hmm. I think uh, it wouldn't be the same, but he could edit. It, yeah, and it would be funny. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, Devu could probably edit one. We mm-hmm. got a lot of editors in our midst. We do. We know? do. But. There's only one who's a who's who's got a specific brand of genius mania, you know. Yeah, there's only one Tarzan boy out there. We're just waiting for him yeah. to come home. Jungle nights are far away from oh, nowhere. Now I'm getting nostalgic. Yeah, I know, right? All right, well, uh, so down in the comments, um, let us know, everybody. Weigh with, in. Yeah, be our judge and Beneath, jury. Uh, right after you're done with your comment ripping on me for defending my failed Kickstarter, <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment about whether or not you think the PCP can do a Kickstarter. Whether just let us know, would you fund Radcon three? Um, Mm -hmm. with the promise that it's going to have, for sure, all the things that Radcon 2 had besides the Plebe and the Weeb, as well as potentially new projects that we haven't even dreamed up yet. I think it is almost guaranteed the people will want that. That is what I think. Yeah. And if we if, so, yeah, if we firm it that way, yeah. yeah, sounds good to me. Here, There you go, folks. Digi has taken full responsibility. All right, no <laughs> blame on this side of the fence, everybody. <laughs> no accountability whatsoever. There you go. There you go. So... Uh, yeah. There it is. I'm, I'm, you know, I think this is good. I think people will be happy to hear us talking about it, you voicing an opinion on it, and uh, just, just giving an update, giving an update to this whole situation. Um, I think it's good. Uh, yeah, that's what I would want to hear if I were them. All righty. Suck my dick, fuck my ass. Bye, everybody. I love you. <laughs>